it's really fun to get back into the Lego universe. Um, Unikitty is such a fun character to play. I definitely went back to watch old, uh, you know, like a YouTube compilation of like Unikitty's best lines from the first movie to kind of remember just quite how high pitched uh, her voice is <laughs> and things like that. But it's such a fun movie to do. It's always fun to do animation. You really get to work a different muscle and use a different side of yourself. And Unikitty is such a fun character because she is easily excitable and uh, she has two sides to her personality. And in this sequel, we really get to see a lot of the second side. The cool thing about Unikitty is that she has this other side and that part of her character is its own type of armor. Um, so in this new apocalyptic, post-apocalyptic world, I think she really excels because she can channel that anger into action and she becomes like they really weaponize her and she can be a vehicle and she can also shoot glitter rays and things like that so she's she's doing great in this new world but you know she could be happier we could use a little more positivity for her i feel like in the first movie she was sort of like the hulk and she still is like don't make her angry and when you do this other cat comes out and now it's become a whole persona um, ultra catty, which is her alter ego of, of anger and any negative or bad feelings that she have ever come out of her. And uh, gosh, I guess I just reach down into the bowels of my being and just scream. It's so cool. I have three nephews under five, and it's been really fun to get some cool anti-street cred <laughs> being a part of the Lego movie and uh, seeing how much people respond to Unikitty as a character and how much they love her. I have gotten some of the Unikitty uh, play sets and put them together and it, it's really cool. Um, I think that Lego has such a staying power. There really are characters for everyone, every different type of kid, every different type of adult to connect to. And Lego as a toy is so fun because you have to use your brain. It's like, it, you know, very stimulating to, to work on and you feel a real sense of accomplishment and then you also get to play with it. So you're like building and making something. And what's cool about the Lego movie and the toy is that the movies are kind of giving kids permission to play with the toy however they want. They don't have to follow the building instructions exactly. They can kind of mix and match and have their fun. So you really get to use your imagination. Definitely we're playing with some of the same themes from the first movie in this movie um, about continuing to play even as you grow into adulthood and also learning how to harmoniously play with others. You know, not everyone is going to think the same way as you or, or look the same way or want to play the same way, but you can work together, I think, and... Uh, retain some of that childlike quality, which is so open. And, you know, remember to, you know, all these things you learn when you're a kid about sharing and working together uh, and, and, and doing it in a light, playful way, I think is something that everyone can use a little of.